Sorry. Good girl. How's it going, everybody? Got another live stream here today with the DGA Traverse backpack, the LT. Uh, Got a fresh batch of uh, dog hair on my black hooded sweatshirt. That's one of the joys of having a dog with a uh, light colored hair. You can't wear dark stuff without getting it all hairy, but small price to pay. Hey, Tyler. Uh, nothing. You didn't miss anything yet. Just, uh, about to check this out. Flip flat. How's it going? I thought we'd start by... Uh, just checking out the bag on the DGA website here. This is a brand new, a brand new bag. They've got it in a couple different colors. I think this is the one we're going to open up today with the the floral print on here. I think is what they call it. Hey Rob. Yeah, you're here right at the start. Just started it up. Yeah, I got a husky. John's got four dogs. Yep. Hi, Millie. Yeah, you have many people haven't heard of it. I um, I just caught sight of it pretty recently online, and the floral print on this really caught my eye. So I'm psyched. Uh, DGA sent one over for me to check out. Benjamin, welcome. So this, uh, well, let's see. They've got it in a a couple of different colors here. And this guy is a kind of green, yellow, and then gray and black, and then we got the floral print on here too. Uh 55 to 60 bucks. What I noticed, like if I try to check out and I'm in Illinois, if I put in my address, it's $18 to ship. And I left this blue bar on the bottom to show you that they have free shipping if you get to a $75 order. So I got a tip. This, I um, mean, I'm lucky they sent me one for, for free to check out here. But if I was ordering one, um, I'd be looking at it like $18 for shipping. But if I get it over $75, then I get $18 off whatever else I spend. And they've got some good deals right now. Um, this, I was eyeing these misprint, they have like a three pack misprint and, uh, it's $28. So if you basically get an $18 discount on that with the free shipping, um, so you could get this three pack mystery print for like 11 bucks or like this disclaimer is another thing I was thinking of their retriever. And again, you'd take $18 off, basically, um, if you get over that $75 threshold. So just something to keep uh, keep in mind if you're looking at ordering one. You might want to check out and see if there's not something else you want to add on and take advantage of that free shipping. But Let's see what we got. Let's cut right into it here and get this thing out. It's available on other websites too. You don't have to get it right from DGA. Oh, looks like we got some bonus, some bonus doodads in here. Sweet. Oh, I got many markers falling all over the place. Hold on, I'm gonna take my hoodie off. I got so much dog hair on here. Right. 
All right, I'm not as self-conscious now about my dog hair mess. Uh, so let's see, so what do we get here? I got a pile of minis. A bunch of different uh, colors here, six of them. Sweet. You can never go wrong with the pile of minis. I'll probably keep a couple of those and uh, and give some away to the club here. Oh, and these are stickers. Nice piles of stickers too. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the uh, the extras in there. Yeah, Rob, I like that. The green too, that's probably my second, would be my second choice. I mean, this one is pretty bright and colorful, but the, uh, if I wanted something a little bit more subdued, I probably would go with that green and yellow also. What do you think about Squatch picking up all the professionals? I've not used the Squatch much more, Antonio, but I'm pretty psyched to see a bunch of pros get, get hooked up with the bag sponsorship. I think that's awesome. You got a little uh, protective plastic here on these zipper pulls. Those are sweet zipper pulls. Nice uh, nice thick guys there. Oh, my light's a little too bright maybe to, to pick that up, but it's got to uh, embossed on the top it says traverse traverse lt nice thick rubbery zipper pulls there that's crazy it's like the metal zipper is was like dipped in it those feel really nice thanks kelly Okay, so we got a couple panels in here. I think this one that is uh, wants to pivot down into the bottom. Yeah, it's kind of sewn down at the back, so I'll just swing that down. And then this looks like a divider in here. And then we've got a channel with a shorter, it's tall on this side, so that probably goes in the back. We've got probably the best zipper pull game in the business. Yeah, I, I don't doubt that. I can't, uh, off the top of my head, think of a zipper pull. They would they would challenge the zipper pulls on the traverse here. I mean, certainly have not seen any other zipper pulls that were so nice that they came with protective plastic over them to make sure that they like you know kept their integrity. It's like pulling that plastic off of your phone screen on a brand new phone, you know? Very satisfying. You're like, okay, I'm the first one. I'm the only person that gets to touch these zippers. Get that plastic off of there. And how could you miss them when you're like, you notice the plastic, so you got to take that off. That's smart, too. You're like, hey, you're going to notice these zipper pulls because you got to get the plastic off of there. I think I got one more. Yeah, I've uh, I have set up quite a few bags before. I'm getting better at recognizing what panel what panel goes where. Oh, Mac, I'm just reading your message now. You said the 
threading on the pull tabs for the shoulder straps tore. I'm not sure which threading you're talking about. If you haven't reached out to them, I'd, I'd send them a quick message. I, I'm sure they'll get you sorted. Sorted out. Not fun to see damage on a bag, so. Hey Aiden, how's it going? 20 plus discs. Let's see if we can do that. So we've got zipper storage on both both sides up high. Not the you know like full horizontal expandable side pockets that we see on on some. So this is definitely keeping a lower profile but still has one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven spots you can kind of divide stuff up into. Let me weigh it real quick before I start putting stuff inside. Hey, Tyler. Uh, Mac, I'm not sure where the manufacturing of this one is at. The kangaroo pouch, is that this one here? I think I counted that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two pounds, thirteen and a half ounces. Lola, stop. And dog's licking her foot. Uh, one point two nine kilos. Definitely on the light end of the spectrum. which you'd expect for its size. But unlike a lot of, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of bags that I've tried to compare directly to this maybe. But if I think of like prodigies, that's probably the first one that comes to mind. And this feels like such a different bag than, than the prodigy ones. Okay, let's start putting stuff in there. Um, so I guess we gotta decide which thing up here if do we want to use for putters if we are. The curved zipper definitely makes for a bigger opening that way. Both of them are deep enough that you can slide putters in there. I have a bunch of putters, so. If we wanted, we could do four. Four up top. I'm just gonna leave those there for right now and get weight in the bottom before I really mess with mess with that. I got a bunch of new dies in. Um, I got some super colorful discs going on right now. Uh, buddy has been doing some, some dies. I just sent him an, another batch to get to work on eventually as well. Um, Brad was here on on Instagram. If you want to see some of his stuff, I'll put a after the stream's done. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, so I think this all, jamming four putters up top is making it a little bit harder for me to slide discs in and in and out here. Um, but it has taken everything that I had in my octo, in my octo hall over there. Uh, Rob, I've not looked yet to see if there's a spot for a pencil. 
Yeah, similar to the Trooper bag, Andy. Uh, that sounds about... Uh, I think this is a lot more... got more structure to it than the tro Trooper, if I remember right. Edges... Yeah, it could it could be. The couple drivers that I've put over there are, are like tucked behind this piece, if that makes sense. Um, that's not too unusual. That does happen on other bags. We do have a pretty high cut here though, and, and maybe that makes that access a little a little bit more tricky. Um, but there's room there is room up top. It just it gets into this, you know, it gets into that business a little bit. And that's with pulling, I mean, I'm pulling two discs there, so if I just have one, I can curl it in like that. That's actually not so bad. It's a little hard to see over there, but they do come out okay. Hey, thanks for joining in, Aaron. Uh, let's see, so where am I at? I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drivers in there. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. With uh, six as mids, and I'll put two more putters in. I'm getting pen something's pinching over on this corner. When I like rotate the discs like that, they want to pop back keep popping back in an angle there. I don't know if I, uh, did I get something a little bit crooked with that channel maybe? Yeah, I think I, I didn't get the channel tucked around the seam in the corner back there. So it's kind of making the back wall of the channel curve on that corner. I'd probably try it without the channel in there as well. Yeah, it just, uh, these are big diameter. I've got a couple comets right there. Just try it like that. How much? Yeah, that would drop its weight way down. I mean, it's already light, so. Yeah, that's kind of what I was looking for. Those fit over there real easy now. couple extra putters in the middle. Man, that is so many discs down there. And I'm still got room for a couple more easy. What do I have now? Four, eight. There's 17. Definitely can do um, 20 down there, no problem. Solid black triple S with a local pro stamp. Yeah, Aaron, I'd be interested to check that out. Well, if you got to uh, Instagram or Reddit or something, you could uh, send me a, a direct message. All right, let's make this work.
think the uh, that channel is a little bit too wide. So it's kind of like whichever corner I put in first, the other one uh, ends up curving a little bit. I don't know if that's maybe just the one I got or... Because uh, I could kind of change which side it's bowing on, but it still wants to bow a little bit. I mean, you can see they're in there. Uh, if I've got enough disc to, to fill it, then it's not going to be twist, twisting them back and forth. I definitely firmed the fit up. It seemed like I had a little bit more space. I could have maybe added an extra disc if I don't have uh, the whole channel system in there. Oh, and I took the divider out, so that would... That's fine, too. Okay, um... We gotta decide where to put putters. I think I'd probably use this one. I like... Now, I don't think that's going to mess with the stuff that I have in that back pocket very much. And we can probably do a wallet. Uh, actually, you know what? I would, put, I would put my wallet over here. I didn't bring my keys in, but I could fit, I could fit keys in there as well. Ooh, this is nice. On the on their like compression strap up here for uh, umbrella or stool or a retriever. Oh, I missed a plastic on that zipper. They've got a a quick disconnect buckle. I think that I, every bag should be doing this. If um, once you like figure out the tension to hold whatever you want to put in there, you don't want to have to like take a you know double back buckle and fully pull the webbing back through it just to get your chair out. With the quick release, you can like pull it to the right tension and then just leave it there. Like with the retriever, you'd want to keep it pretty tight and then you can just like quickly unsnap that and then put it back in without having to change your like set perfect tension. You do not see that. Uh, I think uh, I think there's only one other bag that I know of that has a quick release buckle like that right now. Um, super, super nice. We've got the front. Uh, I need more discs. You can totally fit. You could stack a couple drivers in there, or probably a mid. Uh, I mean, you're kind of blocking access to your main area. There's so many zipper pulls. Okay, I think that's the last one. I got all the plastic. You could do scorecard down here too. A little bit different material on the bottom of the bag. Some more, uh, this is like a kind of a heavy rubberized material, plasticky. And that covers across the bottom of the drink holder too. And we got a grommet down there for drainage. This, this drink holder is huge. I mean, that's a, a full size, whatever it is, a 32 ounce Nalgene. And there's lots of room to spare. Like you could see, I easily got the retriever tucked in next to it. It's gonna swallow up some some smaller bottles, but it does have a draw cord with with the little cinch keeper on there, so you can pull in tight and make sure your bottles aren't flying around. Front pouch would be good for having next disc. Yep, yeah, kind of an on deck slot, totally. Or. Uh, mini marker there's like almost a, a little extra spot right there 
I don't think that's quite big enough to get a pencil in, but almost. There's like a little set of stitching there, it made a tiny pocket. I don't. It's not quite big enough to. Oh, well, maybe it is. Yeah. It's not a full sleeve down there, so if that like went all the way through, it would just come into the bottom of this pocket. But that is, it's snug. I think it would hold it up. I don't know if that was intended or not. Plus elastic over here with mesh. So you could put, what, an extra, a whole layer in there. Hats, gloves. It really does have a... Here, I've got... These are uh, hard shell pants, rain pants. Accidental, accidental pencil pouch, yeah. Totally, it's a feature. I like, I like it, I'm psyched. It's got, uh, I really like the little storage on here, the zippers on both sides, stretchy storage over here, um, across the front, a little stretchy guy down here. I feel like I miss that with a lot of more compact bags. Uh, the little divided storage areas are, are sweet. We've got a D-ring over on this side here. Big enough to clip a pretty a full size carabiner through it if you wanted. I guess I haven't really checked on the back here. Let's see what we got going on with the straps. So it's kind of a bridge strap set up there, and that is your your haul loop if you want one. It is grabbing the, the bridge for the straps. There's no stitching going across, which we get on a lot of bags. A lot of times when we get the stitching across there, that's squishing the foam. So you'll have some spots where you don't get the benefit of how thick the foam is in the straps because it's been squished by the stitching. So you get that foam all the way through on these. It is, it's a lightweight, it's a lightweight padding in there which I think is just fine for the size and weight of the bag. You probably don't need to go crazy on the straps uh, to keep that price where it is. I think that totally makes sense. It's a... Uh, there is a panel in the back of the bag here to help it keep some shape. And we see it come across... It's, pr uh, it's pretty thin, I guess. I, I think there is a panel in there, though. Yeah, there totally is. There is a plastic panel running the back. Um, but it's it's not so stiff that it doesn't give you some bend, so... Of course, you feel more firm across the bottom with the channel in there and the discs. And then the hard panel across the bottom. I think they've done. I think it's. Uh, I think they've done pretty good for the price. I like. Uh, I like a lot of what we got going on here. No, no sternum strap. I guess that's kind of one of the trade-offs of not having a bunch of extra stitching across there. If you wanted a sternum strap, then you got to have somewhere to attach it. Another another corner to cut that I, I think makes a lot of sense to get the price where it is. It's pretty impressive for, what is it, 55, 60 bucks? Depending on which colorway you get. I'll have to get it out and give it some abuse. See how it does. We've got a, some Velcro going on under here. I didn't really talk about that. I didn't fully register it. We've got Velcro on the 
flap that kicks in that way. And that hits onto the front pocket, this one, the first. And then that pocket also has Velcro on the back of it, which connects to the second pocket. And then the second pocket also has Velcro on the back. So kind of roundabout, each one of those three things Velcros to the other and then goes to the back. So that helps keep all of that stuff back there to some degree, but they'll also pull forward enough to, to touch the top of the discs. So it's one of those things you have to balance on a number of bags. If you were loading a whole bunch of stuff up here, trying to get four discs, five discs, something like that, um, then you may, you may find that discs are starting to hit that stuff when you're going to pull, pull all these out. Where, where do the 12 ounce cans go? That's, I mean, of course we've got the, our big beverage holder over here, so we could certainly, actually, you know what? I bet, I bet cans fit side by side in this. Yeah, you can do, uh, you can do two side by side in there. That's kind of sneaky. And then, well, we definitely could put cans in the stretchy guy. I'm not sure I'd do that. We could probably come up here. Where the phone is? Oh, I think you're, yeah, maybe. Would that, does that stretch enough for a 12? It totally does. So maybe we keep the water bottle in here. Depending on what's in your 12 ounce cans, maybe you it's gonna dehydrate you and you need something else to hydrate you up, so. A couple breakers in the side pouch. Oh, that's totally disc size, isn't it? I need even more discs now. What do I got? Do a it could do a bird pocket. I should have grabbed a whole bunch of DGA and had a bunch of DGA discs handy for this too. I didn't think about that. Um, holy cow! You could carry you can carry so many discs with this bag. Because that's now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mids and putters. And 21 overall, and I've still got room to still got room to play. I thought the IP, IPA was a hydration multiplier. Uh, yeah, I'm no scientist. Did you check if your phone fits in the side zippers? No, I don't. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I can go. I can go straight up like that, and that's secure secure enough I wouldn't mind doing it. I could even zip over to like hold it there. Whoa, it does fit in there. Dang. I was like snagging a little bit. Yeah, I have to like adjust it a little bit to get the corner in there properly. Um, but it does. It totally fits in there. S21 Ultra. It's a monster of a phone, but it still does. It fits in that pocket. Oh man, so does a 12 ounce can. Okay. We don't have shortage for, uh, for 12 ounces either. That's so much... That's so much bigger than it looked. I mean, that can swallow a, like a, a mini plus. Where do I have range finder? Yeah, that's so the discs are are messing with the bottom of this pocket. If you do, 
want discs over there. So maybe what I would do is go with the stuff I'm not accessing much, like my wallet, if I was going to pull keys, because then I don't really care. And then uh, do something else with this one over here. It fit, fits a bush now fine. It's kind of funky, the... The bottom edge of that pocket is on a ramp, and I guess the zipper on top is too. So it kind of dr it can draw stuff in there. It's plenty big enough. On this side, you've got the buckle above it, which kind of plays with you trying to get stuff in and out. What else do I have in here? So maybe, let's see, maybe I'll do rangefinder and wallet on the side over here. I don't pull, I don't pull that out like every, every time. Oh, and you've actually got room going up in there too on the top side. That makes that zipper... Yeah, I'm a little overloading it with that. I gotta lay that flat, probably. It's just too much. Too much stuff for that side. We'll do a uh, range finder and a towel up top. And then do some bags on this side. I wonder, maybe I would do something like this actually. Let's pull those out. Do putting putters over here. So I've got putting putters with my like dry handbags right above them, and then uh, I've got the top section open that I could drop some cans in. Those fit really nice in there. Definitely got options for how you want to load it out. Uh, let's see, I wasn't paying too close attention to chat there. Evan asked if the main opening's kind of small. Looks like a pain to get discs out of. I think that the biggest thing going on with the access to the main compartment is how high this cut is up front. On, uh, on a number of other bags, you see that down a little bit lower and, and it leaves you more room there. I mean, I've just put what well, I've got. I dropped cans in here, some huge bulky stuff. That's about as hard as it, as it would get. And you can see that the disc is like pushing up into where those cans are. Um, it's pulling the front flap. But... It's not, not impossible, not unreasonable. I think it was better when I just had discs up here instead of cans. We could have gotten, say, in 25 discs, but didn't want to do the whole stack within driver's things. Yeah, I'd... Yeah, you're definitely not uh, overselling it when you say 20 plus. It 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 really is a legit 20, uh, with a whole bunch of putters and mid ranges in there. If you were going field te field testing a bunch of drivers, I don't see why you couldn't get way way over. The beer cart, yeah. 
<laughs> uh, I know who's on the DJ official account there. <laughs> the beer cart, huh? Uh, Johnny, I showed the base off a little bit earlier. It's got a thick, kind of rubberized material down there. It's a, you know, nylon probably, some, some really thick, plasticky textured stuff. It should be pretty, pretty abrasion resistant. Um, definitely not going to get water straight through it, but, you know, water is more on like seams and stuff that we'd worry about keeping things dry. This is great. I think this is an awesome first bag for, D for DGA. I don't know why this zipper was fighting me so much. I have in there. Oh, the rangefinder. I was really struggling with that zipper when I had the rangefinder in there for some reason. I'm not sure why. Something about that little Yeah, it just sets a little bit different on that side for some reason. I wonder if that was just kind of how the bag was in the, or how this was packaged. You can see that zipper kind of curling around that corner and, and tucking back. And I think that's, that's what's giving me the little bit of resistance. And it's not doing the same thing on this side. There's only like a little, like a half curl on that one. So I don't think it was the stuff I was putting in there that was making me have to fight the zipper. That's however this whole side of the bag is sitting for some reason. <laughs> Are you gonna do that? I just got so mad and screamed and kicked my bag test. Uh, Tyler, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever kicked a disc golf bag. I, uh, I store my rage internally. tend to let that out when nobody else is around, you know? I don't have like the the quick like twitch rage where I just go insane and kick something. I don't think that's ever happened. How tight is the buckle pulled? Um it is it is not. I know that kind of looks like it's it's pulling that that side together. Oh, you might be onto something there though, Rob. That might be what it is. Well, it's kind of doing that on both sides, though. This, uh, this little bead right here has a little stiffener guy in there. It's like a little, a little piece of plastic, probably. And up on both sides, it's kind of, kind of curved that way. That's what made it look like this strap was pulled tight. That little bead is just kind of, kind of curved in there. I wonder if I could work him out the other way. Yeah, that's that's closer to what it should look like. And that might I wonder that might have been because of how tight the buckle was. Huh, so once that's pinched over it kinda wants to stay. So maybe I did that when I put the retriever in there and, and pulled that tight. Yeah, that is actually uh, yeah, it's kind of bringing that close zipper closer back to match the other side. I've noticed that mine kind of opened up after a couple days of use. Yeah, that makes sense, Tyler. I bet its shape will kind of change to what you've got in there. It's it's just soft enough. That that makes sense. It needs to be tossed around some, broken in a little bit. That's what makes it so hard to tell too much about a bag, just opening it up like this and loading it up. 
I mean, you get an idea of the pockets and everything, but they can, they can kind of change with use. I hear people that don't throw DGA might kick a bag every so often. Yeah. They don't subscribe to the most fun wins mentality. But not kicked. It doesn't need to be kicked to be broken in. And I've heard people like throwing their discs into a concrete wall to help break them in. Is that what DGA is officially recommending for the traverse? How many, how many throws into a concrete wall to break your bag in properly? That might be that might be my next video. Don't don't tell it. Don't take that idea. Hey Ryan, how's it going? My D yeah, my DGA discs are actually on a they're on a rack out in the living room. I love my new ProFlex Steady BL. Replace the Big Z Luna. Need some D lines now. I bet that does I bet that would be a great replacement for a Luna. I haven't felt one in Pro Flex. But uh, I've groped up a couple a couple of the beadless steadies. They do feel really nice. I think I could putt with those, no problem. I do have a pretty long blowfly throw. It was, uh, well, let, we don't have to talk about how downhill it was. Yeah, let's just talk about how long it was. It did fly pretty far. Hey, Caleb. How's it going? Just a little less. I would have guessed it was a little beefier than a Luna, but... Hey, Sep, how's it going? Blue Glowfly? Nice. Yeah, maybe it was even uphill. Yeah, it's tough to tell with the camera angles and all. Uh, Mac, no. Uh, nobody's ever mentioned Bob Ross, but I like watching. I like watching uh, his videos of painting. I could I could listen to that dude and watch him paint for hours, and I and I have. I like his style. Oh, I've not watched that yet, Sep. Yeah, there's a hole out here on uh, kind of the closest course to me that really mean. The basket is right on the edge of a super steep hill, and there's sometimes tall grass on it, but it just goes straight down into the water if it, if it rolls away. And I've been thinking about putting the blowfly back in just for that sum up shots on that one hole. Like, there's, there's nothing else that replaces a, a blowfly when you really need some extra stick. I'm pretty I'm pretty psyched on it, Sep. I think that for the price, it offers an impressive amount of like structure and I really am psyched on all the small storage pockets, all the extra uh, zipper pockets on both sides and this guy down here. You'll have to go back and watch the uh watch the VOD. I, if you're if you want to see it all but I like rotated stuff around it really offers a whole lot of options for where where you want to store things 
What happened to my... Oh, I put them over here. I forgot. I gotta show off... Uh, um, yeah, bergs do sit well, not quite as, they're just not as sticky. Uh, Caleb, nope. No, when I, a while, gosh, I don't know how long, what video it was, um, when I talked about working with a, a company, that was, well, it was before they had their name, but now it's Squatch. We bounced some info back and forth, and then they ended up coming out with uh, the legend. This is uh, this is my new little dry bag. I've been using whale sacks for a while, and I really like whale sacks. But this dude. Uh, hit me up and said he was making these little, it's like a foot bag and a dry sack. And I've been playing with it for a little bit. The option bag. It smells like mint. I don't know if you can see that. It's like puffing powder out of it. It's got chalk in there and uh, ceramic pellets. I'm not going to lie, when he... Uh, hit me up uh, about these. I was like, I asked if I could buy a, a pile of them and he just ended up sending them to me anyways. But I got so psyched I busted out my old uh, sandbag which I got over here somewhere. This thing has seen better days. There's like not, not much left to it. I mean, it's pretty good for stalling because of that, but I busted out the sandbag and started kicking it around. Oh no, did my... What just happened? My camera rebooted? It's crazy. Its battery's not dead. I just looked over and it, my screen was freezing. Sports sack. I think I've seen some pictures of that one. I've been working on my foot bag skills. I think it's decent for, uh, Helping my knee heal up, too. Forcing me to be nimble. I use a mitten bag. Yeah, I've seen those mitten bags pop up a couple times. Stream ghosts. Yeah, it must have been ghosts. I thought for a second the, whole, the uh, stream went down, but it was just my, it was just my camera. A wax disc? I don't know what you're talking about, Sep. One of the, uh, like a grip enhancer wax things? I gotta decide if I wanna take this bag out tomorrow. I've got a, I've signed up for a two round doubles event tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Sep. Now, I was just going to roll a cart because I'm still kind of worried about my knee. Carrying a bag, I'm not sure, is the best. DG Max Wax. Huh. I'll have to check that out. Yes, do it. Can I send you, uh, can I send you the medical bill for knee surgery then? If I injure my knee while carrying this bag, is that, uh, yeah, it'll be fine. I'll, s I'll send you the bill. That'll be good. Cover your copay up to $10. Hmm. I do have, I do have a couple carts I could set this on.
but the weather, I don't know. I got to check the weather. I think it, the weather looks kind of nasty. And if it is, then it's like, okay, I need an extra layer. I need a rain jacket. Maybe bring an umbrella. I think it's supposed to be windy, so I'm probably no umbrella. But once you start carrying all that extra stuff, I could, yeah, I could load up one of the carts. Maybe that's the way. Take this out for a single round or something after that. Uh, Rob, I've got the, I do have the Ridge, the full R3 cart right now. They're sending, um, I'm waiting for one more piece. They just upgraded, I forget. Uh, I think it's, if they haven't shipped it, it probably will soon. I've been using that cart for a while on and off. That's my favorite. It's amazing. I, as soon as I get that new piece in and check that out, then I'll be ready to do a review on that. I've been slacking on getting, getting stuff done. I've st started doing some extra, working some extra jobs for m like my real job, not my disc golf bag job. And, uh, that's soaked up just so uh, enough extra energy that I haven't really been wanting to do review stuff. Um, but I feel obligated. I've, I've made uh, some promises that I got to deliver on. So the moral, the moral of the story for me is to stop making promises. I try to be pretty careful to not make any commitment that I can't follow through on. But still, every time I make one of those commitments, it's like another thing on the to-do list. So too many irons in the fire, as they say. It's winter, no need to mess with injury. That's winter's a good time to heal. Oh man, 60 hours a week, yeah. That makes me feel uh, silly complaining about uh, the hours I've been working because I'm definitely not working that many. That's tough, man. You gotta like. That's like enough hours you have to be like careful about how much your rest you're getting. Make sure you have a really good diet. Like that can... That can totally crash you if you're not fueling, fueling your body well and, uh, and resting enough. Sweet, guys. Well, thanks for coming and checking out this bag and hanging out. I got to, uh, I got to get a few other things done tonight. Figure out what I'm going to carry or roll tomorrow and get that loaded up. Yeah, Gary, you're welcome. The uh, next immediate thing on my to-do list is the... Where is it? Ripshot. The Ripshot guy there. I've had that out for a couple rounds now. Holster bag. I'm pretty, pretty psyched on it, actually. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it nearly as much as I have so maybe this weekend <clears throat> I definitely thought I'd have it done last weekend but just not happening yeah thanks Zach all right guys that's it I'm out I'm gonna end the stream here we'll catch you catch you in the next one